Did you know that most WordPress beginners waste hours fixing avoidable mistakes? Trust me, I've been there. I've been building, breaking and fixing WordPress websites for almost 15 years. So, let me save you the trouble with six things I wish I knew before I started using WordPress. And to keep it short, let's dive into the first tip. And the tip is that you don't need a plugin for every little thing. It's tempting to install a plugin for every feature you want, but there's the thing. Plugins can bloat your site and slow it down. And often, a simple code snippet can do the job just as well, without the extra overhead. For example, I have a test site here. It has WooCommerce installed. If I open up a ship to a different address area, as you see, by default, WooCommerce doesn't have a shipping phone field here. So, the first reaction for the beginner is to go and search for a plugin, for example, this one here. But it's not updated for 10 months and who knows whether it will be updated again. Instead of this, I'm going to go and add a small piece of code, 53 lines. I'm going to update it and activate it, refresh the page, open up a shipping field. And you'll see there is a shipping phone. All the information will be added to the emails, to the account page and thank you pages. I'm just going to add the code either to my child team's functions PHP file or to the code snippets plugin. As you see, I have tens of snippets here. Usually I use them for testing. So this was the first tip. The second tip is one of the first mistakes a lot of WordPress users make is choosing the cheap hosting provider. Most likely the first action is to Google cheap, fast web hosting. And if you go to the YouTube, you'll see that if you search for web hosting, there are tens and tens of videos about it. Average view for the video is 56,000. And during the last seven days, two new videos regarding web hosting. Now the beginner grabs their first cheap hosting for $2 and thinks that they're happy. Now pay attention that picking the cheapest hosting plan you could find is a big mistake because your hosting is the foundation of your site. If it's slow or unreliable, your visitors will bounce faster than you can say loading error. For example, one of my clients hosted their site on a bargain host and their site crashed during a product launch. We couldn't get support for hours. Well, they soon learned their lesson and chose another hosting provider after that. So instead of looking for a cheap hosting provider, look for hosting providers that specialize in WordPress and they go for performance, security, and good customer support. This leads to the announcement I have, that is, this video is sponsored by Rapid Cloud. First things first, what is Rapid Cloud? It's a managed hosting for WordPress, which has a really good reputation. As you see currently, it has a 4.8 star rating in a Trustpilot. Now let's talk about performance. With uh, Rapid Cloud, your website stays fast and responsive even during high traffic peaks. It is because it's powered by Lightspeed Enterprise servers and it uses optimized caching with Lightspeed Cache and Redis. It allows Rapid to ensure that your site is always performing at its best. And not only that, it is designed to handle dynamic features and high concurrency without missing a beat. It has a free Rapid CDN and Redis caching with Relay. And when it comes to security, then Rapid Cloud doesn't also hold back. With multi-layer proactive defenses like Komodo, Web Application Firewall, Advanced DDoS Protection, and Real-Time Vulnerability Detection, your data is safeguarded all the way. Plus, each website is isolated through containerization, ensuring maximum security and performance stability. What is also awesome is that they have a virtual patching for enhanced security, which ensures that your site remains secure until an official update is released. Plus, they have a malware protection, which is a really nifty feature. You can test it for free for seven days. So just click on start free button, register, log in. And after that, you'll see a dashboard like this. So if you're looking for a reliable web hosting, then Rapid Cloud is a way to go. OK, time for the third tip, and that is use lightweight teams and plugins. One of the most common mistakes is that when you start your site, you're going to go plugin crazy. You think for a feature that you may need, and then you'll think, well, most likely there is a plugin for that. And as you see currently, there are more than 59,000 free plugins in the WordPress plugin repository. But guess what? Too many plugins will slow your site down. So instead of choosing first plugin in the repository, 
search for the lightweight plugins and themes and use only the plugins you actually need. For example, I'm using an awesome team called Bloxy, the one you see on the screen right now. It has more than 200,000 active installations and as you see, they have a whopping 837 five-star reviews. It's an awesome team. You can customize every aspect of your site. Just open up a header builder, drag and drop elements. The same with a footer builder. You can customize every aspect of your site with a couple of clicks. It has been my go-to team for the last three years and I recommend it to everyone. So, instead of installing 20 plugins for a simple blog, find a lightweight and well-maintained plugin and then you're good to go. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Now let's move to the tip number four and that is backups are non-negotiable. Which leads us back to the tip about the hosting. If you're looking for a cheap hosting then most likely they don't make daily or hourly backups. I have been in a situation when one of my customers lost an entire website because they didn't have any backup or security plugin. Their hosting did not make any backups and poof, site was gone. So find a good backup plugin. I'm using WP Vivid plugin on most of my sites. As you see, currently it has more than 600,000 active installations mostly five-star reviews and it's very easy to use just go to backup and restore enable a backup schedule for example daily weekly or whatever it is save it and you can even set up the remote storage for your backups this helps you avoid disasters and if needed you can restore your sites in minutes if something goes wrong just click on the restore button and done so this was tip number four. Let's move to the tip number five. And I have a Pinkton website speed test for one site on the screen. As you see, the current loading time is 8.1 seconds and the page size is 10.6 megabytes. It's because they don't use optimized images. One of the biggest beginner mistakes is that they tend to upload full-sized images without a second thought. It's not gonna be long before you realize that it's going to kill your site's performance. So I suggest you to optimize your images before you upload them. There are a bunch of applications and websites that help you with that. For example, TinyPNG is one of the sites. Just drop your images here and they will be optimized for web. If you're a Mac user, then there is a free Mac app for you, which is called Image Optim. It makes your images load faster. It's really easy to use. Just select your images, right click, services image optimize and as you see both of those images were optimized successfully one of those is 46 percent smaller and the other one is 49 percent smaller so once again be sure to optimize your images otherwise your visitors will leave before seeing any content once you optimize all your images your site speed improves dramatically this was tip number five and now let's move to the tip number six and that is you have to understand the importance of caching. Caching was something I didn't fully grasp at first, but it's one of the easiest ways to speed up your site. A slow site doesn't just frustrate users, it also hurts your search rankings. So, find a good caching plugin, for example WP Rocket, W3 Total Cache. My favorite caching plugin is WP Optimize, which has more than 1 million active installations. The reason I like it a lot is it allows me to optimize my database tables. Since we talked about optimizing images, it also allows you to optimize images while uploading them. And you can activate page caching, static file headers, gzip, and you can also activate preload cache. There are some minifying options for you. The plugin is easy to use and works like a charm. So if you don't want your WordPress site to be painfully slow, and you thought you need a good caching plugin, then WP Optimize is the way to go. And yeah, these were the first six things I wish I knew before I started using WordPress a while ago. Now, if you've got your own beginner's mistakes or advice, then please let me know in the comments below. But before you go, I suggest you to take a look at the other video I have made about eight secret WordPress plugins you'll wish you knew before. This video is on the screen right now. 
So be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.